Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Mailbox. This is a video series where you, the viewer, can submit your gaming or Battlefield related questions, and then I will give my humble opinion on them. To get the format out of the way real quick, if you would like to submit your own question that could be featured in an upcoming episode, you can do so by leaving a comment down below, or by sending me a Facebook and Twitter message. The first question for today comes from Victor, and it is, what do you think if you chose the sniper perk for the recon class, that it would also change your soldier to a ghillie suit sniper? The more and more I ponder the idea and the concept of having a ghillie suit reintroduced into Battlefield like we had back in Bad Company with the Wookiees, the more I have a hard time figuring out why they really haven't done this to begin with. I mean, the sniper is all about stealth. It's all about that one-shot kill, and eventually you're going to get found out. Eventually you're going to find your sniper position. But if someone wants to have that type of play style and it wants to have that type of role, who are we to say they can't have that type of gameplay experience? Uh, the reason why I'm assuming that DICE has never added this into the game is that because you can go prone in Battlefield 4, you could never go prone back in Bad Company, so it was nice to have that added benefit of the ghillie suit to keep you at least somewhat camouflaged to the environment around you. But the main reason why they haven't added this feature is because when you are prone and you had a ghillie suit on, I'm assuming they were worried that it would be almost impossible for people to identify where they're getting shot at. If you're running around as an assault class trying to take the objective and all you hear is that whizzing sound of the bullet flying by your head every couple of seconds, but everywhere you look you have no idea where it's, where it's coming from because they have a ghillie suit on, that would get really frustrating. The thing is, though, is that there's so many things in this game that allows you to identify very quickly where the recon is that I don't think the added benefit of a ghillie suit would really have that much of a negative impact on the game itself. First of all, there's this sniper glint. If you had no idea where a sniper was, just kind of fling your camera around in every direction, and eventually, if that sniper continues to shoot at you, you're gonna see that bright beacon out in the distance. That will either give you the idea of where you should duck for cover, where it's safe to duck for cover, or if you can retaliate and hopefully take him out. If that wasn't enough, there's also, of course, the vapor trail. A vapor bullet flies by your face, you can track where it came from, look in the general area, and you're probably gonna see the sniper Glint. And if that wasn't enough, there's also, of course, the spotting mechanic. You have a vague idea of where a recon might be camping, hit your spot button a thousand times, eventually an orange triangle is going to be flying above his head, he may not be shooting at anyone, he may not even be looking at you, but of course he's going to become an easy target, you're going to be able to take him out absolutely no problem. And so with all of those different mechanics in place, I just don't see how a ghillie suit is re is really going to have that much of an impact on the gameplay. Really what it's going to allow for is that if you want to play that stealthy recon, you want to get yourself in a position where you can take that first shot before the enemy realizes that you're there, then the ghillie suit would facilitate that a little bit. And so overall, I am right there with you. I love the idea of it because I just like the concept of having a ghillie suit in the Battlefield franchise. I think it fits a recon, it fits a sniper who wants to have that type of play style. But all that said, I just don't see DICE doing this for Battlefield 4. Maybe for the next game. I mean, they would have to add in new ghillie suits for all of the factions, and they'd also have to make them somewhat unique between all of the factions, and I just don't see them having the development time or the artists at their disposal to be able to do that. I could be completely wrong. Maybe in the next update for Battlefield 4, they'll surprise us with ghillie suits, but the fact that this game has been out for almost two years at this point, that is going to be a stretch. Maybe for the next Battlefield game, I will cross my fingers and if they have the same type of mechanics that we just described, uh, then I don't see why that couldn't be the case. Solid question. The next question comes from Andrew, and it is, Do you think the last gen consoles will not receive any more content and only the current gen will? I really do think that the old gen consoles are about to die. If E3 was any indication, all the games that we saw... Uh, they're not gonna last for the next couple of years. Who knows, maybe one game developer, I'm looking at you, Call of Duty, maybe, maybe they will continue to churn out games that will sell on the old gen systems, but honestly, I think that this is a good thing that they're kind of being phased out and everything is now going either PC or with the new gen consoles. Realistically, these systems are completely out of date at this point. The Xbox 360, for example, I think it's nearing its 10-year anniversary 
anniversary in November. These things, these things are nearly a decade, a decade old. The hardware just cannot make the games that developers want. Developers, when they sit down to talk about their next big title, they're always thinking big. And if they have to take the old gen systems into consideration, they're going to have to cut back on features. They're not going to have the graphical fidelity that people are expecting. They're not even going to put in the graphical fidelity because they know that the, the old gen systems aren't going to be able to even manage anything close to that. It really just restricts the progress of the gaming industry overall. And so I'm glad that a lot of big games like the Fallout franchise, I don't think that they're going to be on the old gen consoles, uh, Star Wars, Battlefront, basically all the games that we saw at E3 this year, none of them or very few of them are going to be on the old gen consoles. And it's just for the simple fact that developers want to go to the next step. They want to progress the industry. They want to create these amazing games. And if they are restricted by those systems, then they're not able to fulfill their vision. And so personally, I think this is a good thing. I know that it does suck for those gamers out there that don't have the cash to be able to upgrade to the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. But there's like 20 million people now with a, a PlayStation 4. Like there is a crazy amount of people that have made that upgrade. And I think those people are going to be on, on board with PC gamers because PC gamers have been dealing this for a very long time. They want to see the new games. They want to see that next gen experience. And I think it's for that very reason why a lot of game developers are going to start to phase out the old gen consoles. We're already seeing it right now. And I would not be surprised in the next year or two years from now, uh, really no games at all are going to be on the old gen systems. The next one comes from Christian and it is, what do you think of adding a flare gun or a battle pickup for the new night modes? I really like this idea. When I'm running around on the new night map, which you guys are seeing right now, graveyard shifts for Zavad, it's really helpful to use the hand flares. They're great for not only taking care of Iron V users, which of course everyone is going to be using those scopes because it's night combat, but it also illuminates sections of the map that could be pitch black. If you're not using the flashlight for whatever reason, or you're not using the Iron V scope, you're going to want to be able to illuminate these sections. Like it's going to be nigh on impossible to identify if a pesky player is just camping in the corner, especially when you're down in the tunnel section. The thing is though, is is that you can't throw these things very far. If you want to illuminate a corner of an objective and you're on the fringe of said capture points, well, you're pretty much gonna have to get on the objective to be able to toss the nade and figure out if anyone is in that dark corner. Like, you really have to leave yourself vulnerable when you are using the flare. And while I'm assuming this was a design decision, they they wanted to have this strengths and weakness with the flare on the night maps. Yes, you're gonna be able to put anyone at a disadvantage if they are using the Iron V, you're also going to illuminate players, but as soon as you toss the flare, it's going to let everyone know pretty much your exact location if they are paying attention. And so it'd be kind of cool if you could give up one of your gadget slots if you were playing as the Assault class, for example, or if there was just a couple of ba new battle pickups scattered around the map where if you wanted to, you could just fling a bunch of flares onto an objective, light it up, and make sure you can see everyone on that capture point. Like, that sounds very appealing to me. Uh, once again, though, we run into the problem that we had with the previous question and that is, would DICE want to spend development time adding in a brand new battle pickup or an M320 flare gun when they already press for time, especially with the summer patch coming out very soon? The summer patch is going to come out in September. That doesn't give them a whole lot of time unless they already have this plan. They already have this lined up, which I don't think is going to be the case. I just have a hard time seeing them implement this in the summer patch. Maybe this is a possibility with the fall update when they possibly will come out with the other two night maps. That is a distinct possibility. But it's really hard to say at this point. And so while I really like the idea, it would add in a different element. You would be giving up one of your gadget slots, but also give you the advantage of being able to fling these things further to illuminate and also put your enemy at a disadvantage. And so I think that this is a fantastic idea. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's Sunday Mailbox. I hope you enjoyed. As always, if you would like to submit your own question that could be featured in an upcoming episode, you can do so by leaving a comment down below or by sending me a Facebook and Twitter message. But until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.